Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to gate CSC 2007. The question is the control signal function of a 4-bit binary counter are given below where X is the don't care. Okay, so they gave some X. So let us check what exactly they are saying. Okay, so the counter is connected as follows. Okay, so they gave a diagram also for that particular counter. Okay, so told they told that assume that the counter okay so they are saying assume that the counter and the gates uh, delays are negligible so there is no delay in between them if the counter starts the counting from zero then it it cycles through the sequence so it counts like 0 3 4 or 0 3 4 5 or 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 5 so in what sequence it is going to count is the question here okay so the input is given from bottom guys okay so here we are having a clear one so whenever the clear pin is a one it is going to clear it it is having highest priority remember guys i think we have already discussed about priority encoders in that we learned right yes so whenever some bit is a one and rest all are don't care means clear is having the highest priority guys okay so after clear okay so uh, clear is having the highest priority so once clear is one it is going to clear it okay so whenever clock might be anything okay so clock is working there is no change whenever load is one okay so load is having highest priority than count okay so at that time it will load whereas whenever count equal to one it is going to count the next okay yes so i think this question seems to be a bit interesting right yes okay so let us start analyzing the question so in the question they gave initially the count to be one and load to be zero okay okay so the thing is it will work as a four bit counter right means it is having four bits okay so the initial input is a zero zero one one right yes so let us start okay so if you observe carefully at what point of time does this and gate will return one so that it is going to reset to zero so that is the main point right okay so with that understanding you can clearly say when a3 equal to 1 and when a1 equal to 1 so a2 and a4 could be anything so indirectly assume them as zeros for first of all okay so what is this exact value guys it is a nothing but 1 plus 0 plus 4 so until 5 it can work right yes so until 5 means at 5 it will stop its working so basically it is going to count until 4 right okay so with this understanding you can say that until 4 it is going to count okay and clearly we know that the counting will start from 0 0 0 right yes okay okay so we know that it will stop at a 5 right yes so once it is once the clear bit is turned on means it is cleared so where it will clear it will clear to 0 so basically now the counting will start from 0 right yes it will move to 0 0 1 it will move to 0 0 1 0 no issue no issue no issue it will move to 0 0 1 1 no issue 0 0 1 double 0 no issue 0 1 0 1 issue so it is going to reset again so now what is the looping cycle that is a nothing but a 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 so at 5 we got the issue so indirectly 0 1 2 3 4 will be the sequence got it yes i am sure that few students will be thinking that 0 3 4 5 will be the result because they thought that the starting point is a 3 because in question they gave 3 so it will go from 3 4 5 after that it will come back to 0 it will move to 1 2 3 4 sorry it will not print 4 yes and it will again come into this cycle so the initial part if you are confused you will keep the answer as a guys okay so now you got an idea right so you should always check in long run okay so in long run in which sequence it is going to stuck so it is going to be in 0 1 2 3 4 sequence okay so by that we can say that c is the correct answer got it yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this Thank you.